this project you need your pair of scissors some double-sided tape I have a template which I've cut out with my um, paper cutting machine and I'm actually going to use a template to colour with and I'm going to introduce you to a product that I've been dying to use for many months and I just haven't had a chance to use them due to you know demand for our gift wrapping courses so this is just a template cut out of card and I have some chocolates to go inside my gift box I have a small gift tag here and I've just drawn a couple of leaves on there uh, and I'm going to colour them with some depth with, with the new pen that I'm talking about we have a piece of card, it's just an A4 piece of card and I have some satin ribbon, 15mm satin ribbon so let me start off by just making the, the shape of the card first but now because I want to actually add my template as a, as a template to colour with I cannot make the gift box beforehand, I can't make the pillow box beforehand, I need to be able to make the template. So I'm just going to take a quick measure. So I'm going to be taping that down roughly around here. And I'm just going to, by eye, take the centre of the card, which is about here. So I want to just line that up. I'm going to guess, I'm not going to be too fussy about it. I'm just going to guess. And I'm going to be using this as a template. Now, I need to tape it down in the centre so it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't come, it doesn't move. So add some double-sided tape to the back here. And then just try and get all your points where you want them to be. And if it's a little bit out, it doesn't matter too much. And just tape that down. Now, when we actually fold, so if we take this down on the edges too and we make the pillar box, you can see that this can actually be used as a, let me just get that into shot, it can be used as the, the embellishment on the box but I'm actually going to colour this in so that you can, you know, see the, the, the beauty of the pens I'm going to use today. So let me introduce you to the pens. I have a, a white piece of paper here to show you what these pens are all about. Now the pens I'm talking about are chameleon pens. Now chameleon pens are a revolutionary way to colour your products and if you're an artist, if you're someone who sketches, if you're somebody who loves to colour, doodle, whatever, um, these pens are amazing. They are they're chameleon colour tones and I was sent to these by Chameleon and I've been dying to use them for quite a few months now but because our gift wrapping courses have been so heavily booked we've been out and about all the time and we've had corporate orders we haven't been I haven't had a chance to film some videos so I'm really excited about getting back on board getting my studio set up and filming some videos for you now the Chameleon pen actually has two nibs so it's a nib here let me just get it into camera shot you can see there's a nib here There's another nib here, which is, uh, let me put it on here, which is another uh, dimension. So it's a little bit wider. And the magic lies in this chamber here. I'm so careful with them. As you can see here, there's a little white mixing chamber inside of here. And that's what changed the tone of your pen. So you have a nib there, nib there, and you have the mixing chamber. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to and do this again take the top off and I'm going to add this nib here to my mixing chamber which is a white chamber inside of there which is going to so let me just show you how this pen works so if we're culling that in nice bold beautiful blue color there now watch what happens when I actually connect it to the mixing chamber so what I've done here is I've added the mixing chamber to the nib at the top so that's going to dilute the colour so you only need you don't need too long depending on how how much you want to um, create in tone take that off and now if you start colouring in now
it starts off with a really light tone and then eventually it just gets darker and darker and darker and that's beautiful if you want to create some depth to your colouring so let me show you how what I mean by that by creating depth let me get my green one out so let me show you the whole set that I have here look at that absolutely amazing pens pens galore loads of different colours I love them So I'm going to use my green. So what I want to do is I want to um, take my little gift tag here and I'm going to add, so I want to add some depth to my leaf just to make it a little bit more creative. So I just allow the chamber to just dilute the pen underneath. So let's say for about 10 to 15 seconds, depending on how light you want your tone to be when you start off. Okay. So I'm going to start from the top end of the leaf. I'm just going to add to the pen just again just for a little while and I'm going to the same on the other side just starting from the end here added a depth of colour so it started off with a really light tone and then it went darker and again started here so it just adds that little bit more dimension to the actual colouring and I will be using the chameleon pens in future videos as I get my um, head around using them more effectively for videos for gift wrapping okay so that's my gift tag all done so let's go back to our template here and I want to use um, I want to keep it quite a masculine feel you know people often say that they always struggle in regards to how they can create something for gentlemen and for gift wrapping and really it all lies in the colour you can use you can use flowery paper but if it's a dark coloured paper then just use a dark colour and then a nice dark ribbon so I'm going to use a black pen so I'm just going to allow the chamber to flow through gently so the tone is going to be light and then I'm going to just take some of the elements and I'm going to start colouring around and I'm not too fussed about where the light area is going to be and where the darker is going to be so with this because this paper is slightly off-white it's going to just show us a, a, a grey and a bit of a mixed colour should be enough okay I'm going to try and keep them and try and do it with speed as I can because what happens is the ink starts to flow through quite quickly and what's going to happen is it's going to go darker and darker as I move outwards let's try and keep it nice and neat so let's try and get to And it may seem when it's finished actually when it's finished it's going to look like did the ink actually run out but I want to give it some dimension with some color and I want to get to these two points here so easy so nice and easy and they glide through so well And then I'm just going to again allow my colour to tone through again with the uh, chamber because I want to make sure that when I ooh, keep that up when I go around it has a certain feel and a certain pattern around it so again I'm going to start from these ends and then start moving across and then coming back down here where it's going to get darker again okay so that should be enough start off with it being very light I 
as you can see it's starting to get darker and darker So let me put this top back on now. So as you can see, we have a slightly lighter tone just around here. And I've tried to keep it, even though that's a little bit lighter than that, but I've tried to keep it as even as I can, even that's a bit lighter, but you know, it doesn't matter. And I think that's the beauty of creativity is to um, create something and be happy with it. And sometimes it's the best look. Um, let's go for a, Let's go for the blue. So again, I'm just going to take my pen. I'm just going to add it to my chain for here and just allow that to soak it in. And I'm going to turn this around because this one I want to start with a lighter shade at the front end here and work to the darker shades here. You should really count because then when you're trying to do it again, um, you know how exactly how long you should really keep the chambers together. So let's get that going again. In fact, what I'll do, I'll go to the opposite ends and just try and keep it symmetrical. These are amazing pens if you want to create some beautiful colour if you want to, if you're somebody who loves art, um, painting, drawing, you don't have to have different pens and different colours to get different shades, you can get different shades from just the one pen. Okay, so let's just do these sides here. And I'm going to choose another colour. I'm going to go for the green because we have some green in our leaf. And that's the thing about gift wrapping. It's always good for you to complement. So let's count this first. So I've kept that for 10 seconds. So I know if I need to use it again, I need to do it for 10 seconds. Um, let's keep it light here bringing it back up again can you see how the tone and why I use the pen for this was to really demonstrate to you how you can use the, the same pen for different colors and to tone and to create different tones of color I was as I was saying the, the key to gift wrapping is when you're adding ribbons the, the beauty of gift wrapping is that you just add a comp complement the ribbon with some of the patterns, keep some element of the pattern colour in your tags or in your ribbon. And finally, I think I shall just do a purple just because why not? <laughs> I'm just going to add that for about five seconds. I want to keep it quite dark. And I'm just going to do the central ones. So I'm just going across. Can you see it's getting darker? Okay. So now I'm just going to very gently remove the double sided tape because I don't really want and that just gives you a really beautiful piece of art something you know yes the color tones are all different but can you see the difference how nice it looks just because you have different shades of the color um, and it looks like you've spent quite a lot of time on doing that so let me just move on to making the pillow box for you now 
So turn your card over and take your double sided tape. And we want to add the double sided tape all the way around the edge here. Like so. Remove the backing. And then you want to make sure that you turn this around. Get it even, get all the edges even. now now what I want to do is I want to see where the crease is on the back I want to crease it again and there is going to be crease on the front but we need to do that in order to be able to fold the, the card at the top so let's try and just get the central point here first of all too much about the back here for now. So you end up with a crease on the front like so. Okay, there. Now what you want to do is you want to then just find the point. Now let's start from the back because we want the front to make sure the flap goes to the back. And just where your fold is, just start to make a little fold here. and then just do the same on the front. This is the tricky bit. That'll just hold that in place there. And you want to do the same on the other side. So make a fold. Tuck that in from where you fold this. And just fit it around, just fit it slightly. Keep the edges nice and clean, and that will give you the the not so finished version just yet. So let me just. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add just a little piece of double-sided tape to just make sure that's nice and secure. Now the tape is tape needs to be added. So not to the bottom, but the top here. And I'm just going to somehow move the tables now. Just take that down. Okay. And then just add some of your chocolates that you want to put inside your gift. and close this side up too and what I want to do now is I want to take my ribbon so I can secure everything keep everything in place and I'm just going to tie a very simple bow take my little gift tag and I'm just going to take it underneath my ribbon hold that through so I have a little gift tag and that is just a very simple 
pillar box that you can make with paper with leftover card and um with the chameleon pens but again it just adds it's what i love about the pens it just added that little dimension and that that extra beauty to your gift and if you want to show it off even more just take your bow to the top and you would have your gift bow at the top here beautifully closed really nice and that's how you would create your gift